More than 800 million people all over the world are hungry, and the food that is thrown away would be enough to feed them. Brazil produces and exports a lot of food. In fact, it is one of the largest suppliers of agricultural products in the world, third only to the European Union and the United States. In the U.S. and other developed countries, consumers buy more food than they can eat, so they end up throwing a lot away. Here in Brazil, like other developing countries, a significant amount of food is lost before it even reaches supermarkets and homes. For example, from all the fruits and vegetables that go to waste in Brazil, around 50 percent are lost while being transported and handled. This is due to poor infrastructure, inadequate logistics, and often simply because of a lack of training and awareness. This is a story story of how other Brazilians and I, Rodrigo Sardinha, are trying to change the culture of food wastage by finding ways to make use of what would have ended up in the trash. Maria and Rosenberg, along with other volunteers, check everything that's been donated by supermarkets, distribution centers, and farmers, and sort good food from what's gone bad. They make sure that any food that can be consumed gets straight to the people who need it. I saw my mother struggling many times to feed us. So as a mother, I also try to teach my kids that we should try and use everything we can without wasting anything. We were invited to work to sort the food and then I said, I'm in. We've been volunteers for 16 years. Normally, the trucks leave early and go to the supermarkets to pick up donations. If there is any small rotten part or fungus, we throw it away in the bin. Even the traffic, the heat on the streets, the time it takes to transport the food can damage the fruits and vegetables. We are there just to select what is best. Each group, each institution, picks good food on a specific weekday. I believe that if people were more conscious, there would be less hunger. So I think there is nothing better than to value all the food that passes through our hands. Because maybe another person that is hungry is lacking what we throw away. From here, the salvaged food travels to many different places, like community restaurants, NGOs, orphanages, and retirement homes. I also make use of the food that would have otherwise gone to waste and cook meals for those who need it the most. We receive donations from a fruit and vegetable distribution center. With the donated food, we prepare dinner meals for about a hundred homeless people every day. It's been two years since I started cooking professionally. Since I was a kid, I always watched my parents cooking on the weekends, and I was always attached to the family, so that's how I started to like cooking. In my career, I have had other jobs. I was a mechanic at my dad's car workshop for a long time, and even then I used to cook lunches for the employees. I've always been a person who is very connected to social issues. At the community restaurant, every day brings something new, as we don't know in advance what ingredients we will get. We receive a lot of donations that we have to use the same day, otherwise the food won't last. From there, we start creating the menu. Different from regular restaurants that only use the tomato pulp, I make a sauce with everything. I use the skin and the seeds. Daisy also fully uses the produce when she cooks. Not only that, she also teaches low-income kids how to reduce food wastage, because change doesn't happen overnight. In this part here, do we throw it away? 
No, you used to throw it away in the past. Now we don't do it anymore. So this space here is for us to show that we can use it. We tell the kids that all the food we use here is donated. The most important thing is to promote change and to respect the food. Because before, during my childhood, we would ask for permission to throw away a piece of bread. Nowadays, they kick potatoes as balls. They throw away the banana. With the pumpkin skin, you can make a lot of things. You can make cakes, bread, and you can put it in jelly. You can make whatever you want with it. Also, with the tangerine skin that you usually throw away without even thinking twice. I have to educate the children so that they will learn from a very young age. They won't need to change when they are adults. On the contrary, they will keep learning as they grow up. Every year in Brazil, about 60,000 tons of food that would have gone to waste are salvaged by food banks. This helps to feed over a million people each day. Like Maria, Rosenberg and Daisy, some of us here in Rio are doing our part to reduce wastage and educate people to better manage food so that more people in Brazil can have a meal on the table.